Alright guys, welcome back to my channel, Kadis Gaming. Welcome back to Foundation. Uh, so our objective today, guys, is going to be to set up some fisher huts along here. We're going to at least try to do what we can to unlock that objective, which if we go to estates, where is it? Where is fisher huts? Where is it? Fisher huts. So we need, what do we need? We need six serfs, it says, and I thought... We have 13 serfs, so that doesn't make any sense. Do we need six splendor? It is, maybe. Is that splendor? It's not telling me it's... It's not telling me it's splendor. What is this? Unlock fissure hut. We can't yet. It's not going to give me any reason why. Um, we can unlock the keeps, though. We can do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And we will build a keep. We'll get that going. We'll see, guys, if we can unlock the fissure huts. Soon, I would imagine. Nice. And then we can get an army going and stuff, too, guys. So let's uh, let's go to buildings here real quick. Oh, shit. We have... I forgot that it told us we'd unlocked a bunch of new uh, buildings. So we, we obviously have a lot to do. And we'll cover as much of it as we possibly can in this episode. But let's just see what our other options are. Yes, a wooden keep I want. We do need to get a church going. We... We do need to do that, so maybe. Our faith, it, I don't know how the new update is affecting faith. Where is faith? Faith should be somewhere up here. Maybe maybe it's, uh, they're just, they're happy right now, but they are going to want a church. So, whoa. So, I was thinking on top of this hill, gosh damn. I was thinking on top of this hill, near the manor, possibly. And uh, if I could, just possibly, easy now. I'm going to have to turn that uh, sensitivity down some, maybe. Um, let's see if we can squeeze a church, guys, in here, in this little spot. Because if we want it to be, yeah, we want it to be, actually, hold on. We want it to be near our, you know what, new, new choice. Uh, we want it to be near our residential because residential really likes the church um they grow real well in that area so we'll keep these people happy with all right so that picks your spot so let's let's is this here still yes okay so let's just plop one we'll say right here right there We'll move that over so oh god no we want to move that just a little bit easy mouse easy so we're just gonna just gonna turn it just a little bit say like so and we'll back her up a little bit so we can have an end ooh, ooh, ooh. i gotta click it i gotta remember to do that okay there we go uh we can raise it up some it's gonna cost more materials to do that guys but we will we're not gonna go crazy we'll go that way and then we need a entrance some kind of door door a door b door c door c looks kind of cool but so does b i kind of like b how it just yeah yeah let's do that and they should create a path to that as a uh, craft it i suppose we'll put one of those fellers right up there we will go with a tower which tower do we want let's just go with tower a and should I pop it on the back? I think I'm going to pop it on the back. I think I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> I think I like the look of it back there. We'll try to grab a hold of it and, yep, we'll raise the steeple up a little bit. Spin that around, see how that looks. Hmm, guys, I don't know. I don't know. Should we move it to the side? Should we put one on either side of it and make it kind of like a cathedral? I think it would look kind of silly. Ooh, can I go in it? Can I go in the building? In, in, in the, I think so. I think we're in the building. All right, all right. Nope, nope, wait, we're not. I don't think we are. Uh, ooh. Oh, guys, I think we are. We are, are we centered? No, we're not centered. Let's try to center that bad boy a little more, can we? Are we technically just in it now? Oh gosh. 
All right, so there's all right, so there's that. Can we get can we get a hold of that so we can? Okay, no, the answer is no. All right, so let's. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, broke it. All right, so I just wanna I wanna raise this tower some. Ooh, gosh, to say like right there, and now I put that. Just in there to where it's kind of sticking out like a steeple. How's that look? Let's. How does that look? Let's see how. So it looks like we have a bell tower. Ooh, is that off? I think it might be off a little bit. Ah, uh, can we get it just right? It's still off a little, isn't it? Alright, let's try that again. That looks good, right? We need to go in though. That's, oh, it's hard because it wants to pop. Let's see how this looks. Let's, oh, I go to click it. I'm off a little bit. I know, guys. I know. I'm just trying to get through it real quick. All right, let's. Oh shit! Did I just delete that? All right, we'll put we'll put it. Hey, we'll put it back on there. You know what? I'm wasting so much time here. Uh, 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 oh, 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 we ha oh, oh, I think maybe. It, it might be crooked, actually. Let's see. You know what, though? You know what, though? I like it. I like that. We're going to go with that. All right, we're getting people coming in. We're going to go ahead and build this. We have a door, we have a tower, we have the church now so that's going to start going let's just check our residential area okay so yes it's the whole part something should pop in here possibly maybe not so much here they need so much room in between each other so much not much i think these are actually this is one house so so maybe um all right so let's back out of that though and spin her around how are we doing on the wood we can go ahead and uh, take this extraction point out of here. Don't worry, I'll get the berries in the stones again in a second. I just want to clean this area up. We'll let dude reforest there too. Go ahead and click on all that. Make sure we got it all. There we go. We got the berries. Okay. And let's see. We need, need to be able to unlock the fisherman's hut. Darn it, I just don't remember how to do that yet. But I'll figure it out. Well, let's proceed to our next building. Let's see, what else did we have in here? It wouldn't keep, yes. I want to get that going. That's going to be military. We're probably a little early in the game to be, to be doing that, but we'll plop that feller right there. We'll put a core on. Okay. We'll raise that guy up. I was hoping they'd uh, made the keep look a little different. Um, because I didn't really care for the, the look of it. It's just kind of like a square building so much. And I just deleted it. Oh, there we go. With the door. Okay. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, dude, that's a door, too. Dude. I don't think I want to build both, but we will put a... Alright, I suppose. We'll put that... Oh, actually... We've got a few choices here. Let's see. Hmm. What this one looks like. There we go. That That's kind of normal-ish. doesn't add much to the top of it, but it's kind of normal-ish, so we'll go with that. We do have a door technically to construct. Alright, those two are going to take forever to do. We still do have three uh, builders, though, so between houses and the church and this tower, it's going to be a little while, so we're going to go ahead and speed things up. How many unemployed do we have? We have only Two unemployed, so that's not bad. I've been told you want to leave if you unemployed. Um, if you need to use them, guys, use them by all means. All I need is one in each 
category. I've got two here, one for wood, one for stone. I've got one here as far as the transporter goes for berries. Um, the houses don't count. The well doesn't need to be manned. Let's see how the berries are doing. We are selling some. Okay. So I think I remember, guys. All right, labor, kingdom, clergy. So the more you build in clergy, the more of these you unlock. Uh, maybe the more splendor you're going to get out of that deal in that category. Just like wooden keeps, uh, when all that's built, maybe we'll get enough splendor to unlock these tiers. Who knows? I can't remember exactly how it works. So if that's the case, then we have a warehouse, we have a bed office, we should gain splendor, right? Or maybe we should add on to these places. Let's see what our options are here. Parts. Okay, let, let's just click on Bailiff. Ah, uh, see, we have a treasury here that's going to expand our treasury capacity by 210. Uh, additional maintenance costs, four dollars. We'll take that. And uh, oh wait, because what were we? We were a Bailiff's office. Okay, that does increase our money though. So I think we're going to switch to that for the time being. We need the church to be built so we can uh, make some additions to that. But for the time being, we're just going to let everybody tick. We have 15 people now. 72, 73 and happiness keeps going up. We're doing good, guys. We're just letting it do its thing. I'm rather curious <clears throat> at the moment to see how much another territory costs. Because I wouldn't mind purchasing maybe this feller. 500. So if we let that build up to 500... We can uh, purchase that. So we're not going to bother at the moment because it's nowhere close to that. Where's territories? There we go. Uh, also, the keep gets built. We can start sending men out on missions, which would be cool. One of the new villagers has arrived. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get our villager list back up here. So we have three unemployed now, technically. Uh, work list. Miners assigned. What do I need a miner for? You mean a stone cutter? Is that what that is? Is there a stone? I have a soldier already. Um, a miner must be a stone cutter now. I only need one at the moment. We could up stone because we're getting ready to build a church. We could up wood cutting because we're getting ready to build a church it takes a lot of resources if we click on um, the church guys uh this is a combined is this a combined total no let's see all right so this part right here alone is going to cost 26 planks which we almost have all of or no stone excuse me we have none of the planks yet we need five in tools. We're going to have to up tools and trade then because we need uh, more tools that we didn't have yet. Just want to check these categories real quick, guys. Okay. Um, up, up, up. Let's see. All right. Uh, I don't need budget yet. Let's go to trade. We're going to go to trading resources. Under tools, I have five. I want to buy five and leave it out of cap at that. But I also want, I think I need more than that. I think we're going to go ten at a time right now. And also something, that's what else we're waiting for, guys. We're, we're waiting, for, right? We're waiting for the warehouse to still be built, aren't we? Let's see here. Let's search for that. That is Forestry Camp. There's the warehouse. I think the third thing we ought to hold in here, if it gives me an option for it, is yes, indeed. Alright, set up your first trade route. We did. Quest complete. There we go. Excellent. What else would you like from us? Monk is requesting an audience. Oh, okay. 
Uh, my lord, the king demands some materials. Clergy wants to uh, renovate some of its churches, but our workers are in need as well. We need to choose who will help. Uh, I shall assist king, clergy. Okay, so this is an option for us, guys, to get yeah, right. So we're going to go people, because I think that is uh, labor, which is going to help us unlock. Uh, fishing huts, guys. So we're just gonna click any anywhere so we can get it off of that character it was following there, and we'll go back over here. Let's see where are we at. We're on speed three. Let's take it down notch. Speed two. We're at 17 people. 81 in happiness. Money's actually kind of increasing in a sense. Nowhere close to that 500 for the next territory, but that's okay. We have plenty of territory right now, technically. And matter of fact, my guys, if they have not started screaming yet, yes, have officially ran out of wood. And since we're going to make this like a little fishing part of the town, we'll give them a chunk like that to chew on. There we go. I'm going to have to get that piece of stone, even though I think that's the camp, but still. Alright, so this, uh, lumberjack now has to go pretty damn far to, uh, cut and carry the wood back, right? You got your lumber yard here. Wait, is this our warehouse? Because that might not actually be, yeah, that might not actually be that bad. I think we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna let them stay at that pace for the moment. I know they don't like to travel very far from like home and work, but uh, so like if we click on one of these houses, guys, we can click on a name. All right, so that's a bad example because they're unemployed, but this person is not, and he works 16 meters, is it, from home? Could be 16 miles from home. That doesn't make any sense though. It must be meters, maybe, from home. Um, and let's see, has a home, she has primary needs, she has food, which are berries, faith, none, and that's where the church is going to come into play and keep her happiness going. So that's an example of how to kind of check on your, uh, your citizens, make sure they're, make sure they're still happy guys and they're not going to just bail out of your town. Because, through experience, let me tell you, when you have a lot going on and you and you have, a, like, a massive leave, like, people just start leaving your town for whatever reason. I think mine was the clothing bug the last time I was playing it months ago. They had an issue with the clothing market. Um, people were demanding shirts, but yet they weren't still buying them, and so they were getting mad and leaving the town. <laughs> So hopefully they've uh, polished that for sure, guys. <clears throat> but it definitely was a dilemma <clears throat> for sure. All right, so they're going to clear that out. I so want to, you know what I want to just do, and we don't have the gold to really do it yet, I don't think. What's this going to cost? It's only going to cost two tools to destroy it. How much is it going to cost to build it back, though? Let's see, lumba. It's going to cost 5 tools and 20 gold. And I think we're going to do it. Let's see, alright, so we're going to we're gonna bulldoze this one, guys. Those two that are working for me are kind of going to get a little butt hurt here for a second, especially if it don't move quickly. But I want to put this closer to where they are now. So we're just going to pop it right there. So that their works at least close to them. It might be a little further from their home. But at least their works closer to them. It costs me a little bit in resources to do that to move it there, but that's what we're gonna go with. Alright. What else can we do right now? Yeah, the f I mean I wish I could put up a hut and I'm gonna put up a fishing hut, though they used to be such a good resource in food. Plus, you want two varieties of food selling in your market, guys. Um, so that you keep your people happy. They're, they're plenty whiny, trust me. They're plenty whiny. 
Quest failed. Deliver ten tools. So, oops. All right. I was supposed to deliver those, man. I thought he was just gonna take them out of our resources. I didn't know we were supposed to deliver them. Well, did we lose one happiness because of it? I doubt it. Probably didn't really matter. They'll probably just ask us for the same quest here soon. So the quest givers come from out of towns, guys, and they come to your manor. It's a definite perk to have your manor up as soon as you can so that you can start doing those quests. Start earning the splendor for each one. Because if you, you remember when he asked us the question, um, whether you wanted to help clergy, kingdom, or what was it, people? which is labor, you choose which category you want to try to improve and if you succeed in that quest, guys, fulfilling what they wanted you to do, you'll start unlocking these. So I think we just kind of douched ourselves out of uh, unlocking the fishing huts just then by failing that mission, by me running my mouth too much, not really paying attention to what I was supposed to be doing. But uh, they'll give us another chance in a minute. It's like every so often they come back into the town and uh, they'll have, you know, same quest until you fulfill them and then new ones. So on and so forth. So, Lumber Camp, I really need you to uh, accelerate. And I know that uh, they're working on church and shit, but I need this. I need to be able to supply my men with wood. So we can pause production if we like for the moment and that will get them to go work on the lumber yard so we'll do that Let, let's see what else do we do we have anything else that needed to be built immediately mm, the church and then what's this back here it's a house I believe um, so we're just gonna pause the church so that yes he's already working on it lumber camp Get lumber going back in excellent all right we're going to reassign people to this now at this point when you have so many people guys and most importantly when you have residential in now it's important you pay attention to who's living where just because this person's unemployed doesn't mean they don't live in one of these houses and if they're too far away from work from home they'll still do the job it's going to take them a lot longer to gain the resources because they have to travel so far to the warehouse and then home and then work so on and so forth so you want to go into your depot preferably you're unemployed so you can employ them but uh we need a uh, wood cutter now we're gonna make you a wood cutter and I, I totally just botched what I was supposed to show you guys. But before you choose to make them a woodcutter, you want to click on their name. And you want to see how far away from home they're working. This guy's 46 meters away now. I would say don't push your luck much more past that point. Like, if you have somebody, say you own this property, that property, so on and so forth, even further back. You got somebody that's living over here, but working over here, they're going to be so mad. <laughs> they may even leave the town. Alright, so we already had two auto assigned. We just assigned a third woodcutter because we just have enough people to do that. We still have technically, what, three unemployed? Still? After um, employing three in here. So, that's all those slots are full. Let's see, should we get, I think we'll make another transporter for wood at the time being. And I think our distance is fine on any of these people that we decide. I just wanted to show you guys that, like, you, you can click on this and it'll show where they live. You know, it'll just jump right to them. But regardless, we're going to make her a wood cutter. No. We're going to make her a transporter, a transporter, we want to make her two out of four. All right, so, all right, hold on, guys, hold on. So we're going to close these up. All right, so we have two out of four. So instead of adding one, we're going to click on this, 
We're going to see the distances. It's going to show us the distances of all of these people. Also, it tells you if they have a job or not, guys. We're going to go with Henry because he's only 39. There was two at 39, but we'll just go with Henry just so we can uh, get another person in there. So we have two slots for wood now to stock in the warehouse. That'll let us bump up the production of it so that we can bump up the production of this. And we're going to unpause this now. I had not forgotten so that it can uh, continue to be built. So this is kind of dealio, guys. <laughs> it takes a while, man. Even on speed, it takes a while to build your little town, but it slowly, it just becomes something really freaking cool, especially when you start getting to the points where you can decorate it and everything with like bushes and trees and stuff, guys. It's pretty neat. There's some really cool buildings and you can do, you can manipulate buildings in a certain way to make them look a little different as well. So, you know, your imagination is uh, not, so it's not limitless, but you know, you have options. So, but uh, regardless, uh, guys, it's going to take a little bit for the church. I don't want to really put too much of a burden on the builders by building too much at once. So, rather than making you guys have to just wait through this, we're going to end this video here. This is the progress we are going to make for part three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. When we come back, I'll have the church finished. So that we can progress in whatever else we're going to do, guys. We'll just probably go down the list of new buildings we unlocked and start plopping some of those in. Because why not? Let's get our economy going. And hopefully we'll unlock the Fisher Huts soon enough. I'm not going to push the issue. What happens, it happens. But I would like to get some going soon enough. But like I said, regardless, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe if you did. And uh, feel free to leave comments about the game uh, thoughts, you know, or uh, what have you. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.